This isn't a scores on the doors, folks, but I'd just like to mention two people before we really have a pop up the second. Let's go for the first. First, Veiled Bucky. He's put his first video up on the uh, old YouTube today in his best Spider Man mask. He's told us how he's going to play it and what he's going to do. He has mentioned he's not going to do a profit and loss because he says he's not a tipster. He's going to bet everything he picks himself. He doesn't want any money. He's never going to ask for any money. He doesn't want anybody to subscribe to him, as in, as a bookie that is. He doesn't have the channel, obviously. And he doesn't even want the buy my coffees and all of that palaver, should anybody win. So, his intentions seem good. He say, as I say, he's not going to do a profit and loss. You know we ever got anybody that doesn't do a profit and loss. But, if he's really honest and he's not after anybody's money at any turn, and more importantly... If he's not taking anybody off his channel, getting them to email him and giving them other tips, then I've got no issue with him at all. What I will say is, when he starts to take people off his channel and give extra tips, if he ever does that, and there's no profit and loss, then I'd be concerned. But it doesn't seem he's going to do that. So all I can say is, good luck to him. Right, um, got another one there. One of the ones that he mentioned on a couple of occasions. Watchman. Yes, this is the fellow that was it three, four days ago said we wouldn't be seeing him again. He came back the following day. The day after he came back twice. So from not seeing him at all, we got two visits in one day. Now that was yesterday. The reason we got two visits, he made it like he was giving us a tip for today because it was a really hot horse. More about that one later. I'm sure you know where I'm coming from with that one. But no, 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 no. He came on yesterday to let us know that yesterday's tip was a winner. Well, I did say there was somebody, I did the scores on the rules, I think someone else has had a winner, but I don't know who. But I know he'll mention it to you. Well, he did. He did a whole video about it winning yesterday. Now, the tip that he came on to give us yesterday in that very same video where he was rejoicing that he all had the winner and that it hosed up, that same video we mentioned he had one for today. He also said he'd be coming back again today to give another tip. When I started recording an hour ago, I've not seen his second video, but as I say... You can take what this fella says with a complete pinch of salt. But based on yesterday's video, as I said, when he came on and let us know about yesterday's winner, I'm thinking to myself, well, if he tips a winner today, if today's his winner, he'll come on again. But I'm also thinking, well, if today's loses, will he come on again and do an extra video and say, by the way, today's has lost. He came on yesterday to an extra video to let you know yesterday's tip won. But he doesn't come on today if it loses, I thought to myself. And lo and behold... It lost. Let me tell you where it come. Let me just tell you. It was about three to one, I think he advised. He never said each way or whatever, but no doubt he would have claimed it as an each way. I think there was eight in the race. I think it came sixth. It came sixth. He did say out of the favourite to beat, and it's a pretty good favourite. He said, but this horse will be running for its life. There's every chance it'll win the race. We're expecting massive things. Six out of eight isn't too massive. Three to one, as I say... He also said it's with Jair Lyons and it's got the first time cheap pieces, I think he said, or he had it on last time and it's wearing him again. I can't remember what he did. He mentioned cheap pieces. Well, I thought to myself, oh, no doubt old Colin will be on that old Colin Keane. Just seen the result five minutes ago. No, 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 no. Another jockey on it. But he also noticed old Colin was on one for Noel Mead. That one came third. Now, I've not got the experience the watchman has got. He's been around a lot longer than me. And he tells us on a regular basis. But I would have thought, if old Mr Lyons' stable jockey was on one for Noel Mead, I would have thought, I'd fancy the Noel Mead one a bit more than uh, old Gail Lyons' uh, horse. And rightly so, as I say, Colin and Noel came third. And the watchman's tip came sixth. That's tipping, folks. Let's see if he does a video today to let us know it got beat. I'll bet not.